our top focus. The war between the Delhi LG and the UP government escalates to a whole new level. In the latest, LG Vinay Kumar Saxena has given a nod to the CBI probe into an alleged DTC bus scam. The central agency will now be probing into the alleged irregularities and corruption in the procurement of 1,000 low-floor buses by the DTC. And this comes after the LG approved the proposal of the chief secretary to the complaint to the CBI. Now, the BJP is up in arms demanding the resignation of the Delhi chief minister, Arvind Kejriwal, and they've termed the AAP Sarkar as full, being full of corruption. Meanwhile, the Aam Admi Party has hit back at the LG, claiming that the latest probe is just a bid by Vinay Kumar Saxena to divert attention from corruption allegations that have been leveled against him. So this is the latest flashpoint now coming, around, coming out in connection between the AAP and the LG. This follows different flashpoints related to the Delhi excise liquor policy scam, where Manish Sasodia, the Delhi Deputy Chief Minister, is the main accused. Now, recently, Kailash Gelot has now come under the scanner, and what we're seeing now is that the LG has now approved a CBI probe into the, into the alleged irregularities when it comes to the procurement of 1,000 DTC buses. Now, we have multiple reactions coming in from the BJP. They've demanded the resignation of the Delhi Chief Minister, Arvind Kejriwal, and they are also saying that the party is full of corruption. Now, I'm crossing over to my colleague Akash Sharma to get us more details on this. Uh, Akash, tell us more about the BJP's reactions that are coming in when it comes to this new flashpoint between the LG and the AAP. Uh, right. So, Aisha, you know, it was uh, it is very much on the expected line that we were expecting that BJP would be reacting and they would be asking for the action and also the resignation. So, as of now, uh, while it is about the BJP leaders, so they are definitely asking for the resignation of the transport minister. And also they are saying that they knew about this corruption. And in fact, they were the one who reported about this earlier. And, you know, this is the reason why we are learning that, you know, LG has asked for a clubbing of these two complaints. So, you know, BJP is asking for uh, the resignation of uh, Kailash Gelot, who is the transport minister and who is very much, you know, uh, in this particular picture, in this particular development, because it is somewhere said that the uh, transport minister was appointed as a chairman of DTC, which is a Delhi Transport Corporation, and a corporation cannot have chairman uh, like cannot have an elected representative as chairman. So it used to be an IS officer on that particular post, but it happened in the Aam Army Party government and it was, you know, opposed by BJP at that time, in fact. So now this time, this is about the tender process, about the irregularities and also about the appointment in that particular post. And now we are seeing the politics all over on this particular matter where BJP is uh, now attacking Aam Army Party government saying that, uh, uh, look, we knew it that you are a corrupt party and now these all these allegations and uh, alleged corruption cases are proving somewhere that you are not a uh, party of Aam Army. All right, Akash, stay with us. Let's listen into some reactions that are coming on on the story now. देश को बधाई अरविंद केजरीवाल के सारे घोटाले सामने आ रहे हैं बस सतासी लाख रुपए की और उसकी मेंटेनेंस साढ़े तीन करोड़ रुपए क्योंकि बस में तो हेरा फेरी की नहीं जा सकती थी और ये टेंडर इस तरीके से बनाया गया था कि केवल दो ही लोगों को टेंडर मिल पाए और दोनों का नाम एक जेबीएम और दूसरा टाटा और साढ़े तीन करोड़ रुपए एक बस की मेंटेनेंस और वो भी पहले साल पहले दिन से जो एक साल की वारंटी आ रही वो भी छोड़ दी और अभी अरविंद केजरीवाल कहेंगे हम ईमानदार हैं फैसले का स्वागत करता हूं क्योंकि ये बहुत बड़ा घोटाला है हजारों करोड़ रुपए का इसको आम आदमी पार्टी की सरकार लगातार दबाने की कोशिश कर रही है इस पर प्राथमिकी दर्ज हो चुकी है जिस तरह से एक कंपनी विशेष को फायदा पहुंचाने के लिए लगातार 2018 से केजरीवाल सरकार के मंत्री श्री कैलाश गहलोत उसमें एक कनाइवेंस के साथ उसमें जुड़े हुए हैं केजरीवाल जी मैं पूछना चाहता हूँ कि एक मिनिस्टर जो कैबिनेट का मेंबर है वो कैसे डीटीसी बोर्ड का चेयरमैन हो सकता है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी आपने पंजाब के अंदर कच्चे कर्मचारियों को पक्का करने की आज घोषणा कर दी लेकिन अफसोस जब आप दिल्ली की बात आते हो तो आपका दोगलापन और चेहरा जो है ये जो झूठ बोलने का आपका चेहरा है वो सामने आ जाता है लोगों को दस फरवरी 2022 को आपने सर्टिफिकेट बांटे थे दिल्ली जल बोर्ड के 700 कर्मचारियों कच्चे कर्मचारियों को पक्का करने के लिए लेकिन हमारी आरटीआई से पता चला है और यह आरटीआई है कि आज तक एक भी कच्चा कर्मचारी कॉन्ट्रेक्चुअल वर्कर आपने पक्का नहीं किया है तो 
अरविंद केजरीवाल साहब आपका झूठ जो है वो एक बार फिर पकड़ा गया Now I'm heading back to our correspondent who's tracking the story of Akash Sharma to get us more details. So Akash, in a few minutes, we're expecting to see a press conference being addressed by Saurabh Bhardwaj. Uh, we are going to expect him making sta- make a statement on this new uh, flashpoint between the LG and the AAP. But can you also give us some more context about the DTC bus scam case? Right. Uh, so you know, uh, uh, talking about this particular case, as far as I remember, this is a case of uh, year 2020. In fact, before that, when you know, uh, Aam Aadmi Party, since uh, they have entered into into the Delhi government, they have said that we are working uh, towards making the public transport system in the national capital better for people. And we know for a fact that Delhi does not have adequate number of buses. So that's why there was a pressure on a pressure on Delhi government that you should uh, you know procure more and more buses. As far as DTC is concerned, so DTC is a corporation under the transport department, and DTC uh, you know DTC is the body that you know uh, that uh, runs the maximum number of buses in the national capital. As far as this particular post is concerned, uh, also the controversy is concerned. So initially it got started with the appointment of Kailash Gehloth on the post of uh, chairman uh, in DTC because you know. Before Coach uh, Kailash Gehloth only an IAS officer used to be the chairman of DTC. So we saw a lot of political hall as I mentioned earlier. But after that, when you know this uh, tender was floated, this 1,000, uh, 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 this tender for 1,000 buses at that time, Vijendra Gupta, who used to be the uh, leader of opposition and BJP leader, uh, you know, uh, raised uh, raised this matter that in this particular case, uh, D- uh, uh, Delhi government is floating a tender where they are, where they are purchasing new buses and also they are giving money for the maintenance on the very first day. While the fact is that whenever we uh, you know try to buy some new buses or whenever we try to purchase some new buses. these buses comes with a warranty or guarantee and also the maintenance contract so initially it you it started with that maintenance thing and later we got to know that this complaint was you know made in acb and then it was recommended to cbi now the latest development is that lg has recommended this proposal where you know chief secretary was forwarding this particular complaint to cbi because you know in this particular case we know that uh, an investigation is already on and in fact you know as far as my information is concerned vijay gupta was called in for a statement